What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. DW here, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. So last time, we were talking about exploring the map, and I mentioned I wanted to go due west of, I guess, home sweet home. Because I don't think we've checked out this area yet. I'm pretty sure to the north of us is a bunch of swamp stuff. But I don't know what's over here. So we're going to check that out. It's probably going to lead to nothing real fast. Or it expands up into areas I have not seen before. Either way, we're going to have some fun today. Oh, and when I was editing last episode, I found something hilarious. Okay, so if you guys remember the... Who was it? The the stonesmith? The mason? Whatever his name was? Actually, we'll, we'll just go visit them. I made a connection that I did not make last episode, and oh my gosh, it is hilarious. I know that's a cliffhanger, or you already know exactly what I'm talking about, but whatever. Clear the path. Okay, so these are all fairly easy to do. Iron parts, wooden plank, and wood wedge. And that gets us... No new map explored. I'm, I'm sure as soon as we clear that. Ooh. Honey? Maybe? Yes? Are we going to take damage as soon as we do this? Probably. Do I care? Not really. Ow. Ah. And now that we have honey, and I'm pretty sure we got honey last time too. But now that we have honey, isn't there uh, the crazy dude? What's his name? Uh, Dig bring oh five honey pots okay i'm glad i checked that oh but i guess i can just look here so we've got tress the local carpenter and Corey, the mason i didn't realize this until i was editing but their names are hilarious so your local carpenter who cuts down a lot of the tress in the area for the wood and his brother Corey, who mines all of his stone from a quarry it's it's funny <laughs> They're so aptly named that I love it. I'm sure some people caught onto that way faster than I did, but what what is this? Oh, is this a hold E to repair? It's like the broken broken apiary. Does this mean we can collect our own bee houses? Are we breaking this down or build it back up? Probably breaking it down. Yeah. That's a lot of energy. Oh, and speaking of energy, well, we're going to need to use a lot of it today. Metal scrap and flitch from that. Sweet. Okay, but speaking of that, we need to unlock... Uh, where was it? Not smithing, building. We have the ability to create wooden repair kits, but if we want to get our graveyard looking spiffy, we also need the ability to create stone kits, which I think was also under building. Yeah. So it doesn't take a lot more. We need 15 red points. So I'm probably going to kind of see what I can do to make that happen. Wish me luck. Ah, that chime, the bell. We've heard that before and we missed it before. I know I just walked past some berries. I'm pretty sure that has to do with a body being dropped off. Let's go find out. Aha, I was right. And it's at 99% still. Perfect. As long as we get it on the table, I think we'll be okay. Oh, and I realize I probably shouldn't have put that last body in the grave. Does this... The one that uh, we left out there and was at like, what, 66% or something? Oh. By removing his flesh, we removed one of the white skulls. Interesting. Okay, we're going to hold off on putting any new bodies. Well, no, we'll leave this guy here for now. If we get a new body, we'll come back and uh, swap it out. But I don't think I need to be burying any more bodies right now. That's just going to make my graveyard uglier, and I'm having a hard enough time making it look pretty as is. That's kind of why I'm harvesting red points. But I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night, grab some more red points, and I'll meet back up with you in the morning or whenever we have enough red points to continue. Oh, crap. Your tool rusty shovel has broken. You need to fix it to continue using it. Okay. Well, I'll grab this stone while I'm right here. But I think we have a grindstone. I think that's what it's called at our place. Yeah, right here. 
Or whetstone? No, whetstone's... Yes, grindstone. Okay, pick a resource. Our shovel. Combined with our whetstone. And then we can work the grindstone. And does that give us a fully repaired shovel? It does. Okay, cool. That's good to know. All right, we only need five more red points and we can get things going. And with that, we have enough red points to unlock some new technology, which is exciting. Stone working, I think we need that. That's probably more important. Yeah, so we'll make the stone repair kits or we'll have the ability to make stone repair kits and it's crafted at a stone cutter. So now we actually need to start building stuff up, I think, to actually build things with. So the sawhorse, I don't know if we need, but I do know for sure we need the carpenter's workbench. So we need more flitch, which is crafted at a sawhorse. So I guess we will use, I guess we will build a sawhorse. Uh, I have no idea the optimal layout for this. From what I've seen, everything is very much, like it, it's not fully optimal. Like you've got four wasted tiles right there. I don't know. I guess we'll put this up, up here, sure. Yeah, that sounds great. We'll need to build that, and then we should be able to make some more flitches, which will then enable us to make more, uh, the, the crafting station. Ah, and this needs logs. Ooh, that's kind of nice. It pulls it from storage. I like that. I like that a lot. And that makes six flitches. Sweet. Okay, cool. So now that we have the more flitches, we should be able to make... A carpenter's workbench, which I believe we need for... I keep trying to click in places I shouldn't. Ah, uh, that's a perfect spot. Yes, we'll do that. I keep trying to click in the middle of that thing, and it only allows you to click... So I, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, that's beautiful. Also, this is very much in the way. Let's remove this, just because, I don't know, stuff's going to go here eventually, I'm sure. Beautiful, and I'm sure we'll need the stone. Okay, so now we can make wooden planks and wooden repair kits, but we need, oh gosh, nails are made at, a, at an anvil or a cooking table. Ah, and we can now make wooden markers. That's kind of cool. Okay, we need to find a way to make nails. I think those are made out of scrap. Um, simple iron parts. Nails. Stone stock pot, stone cutter? No. Increase yard space. That sounds useful. But complex iron parts, we most definitely don't have. Okay, hold on. What day is it even? It's this day. Pitchfork minus the middle fork day. I don't know. Uh, brown day. Sure. I, I don't know if there's anyone that shows up today. Uh, known NPCs. I'm pretty sure each day has someone unique. So we've got mail day, green bug day, sun day, lady day. We haven't met anyone yet for today. I don't think. And we only have... Sorry, I'm checking our honey. We only have two honey pots. I was going to say, let's go visit Dig, I think is his name, and talk to anyone on our way. But maybe not. These days go by so insanely fast. It's it's crazy. I'm going to need some more wood, though, for any projects I plan to undertake. So let's knock that out first. All right. We've got a little bit of wood. It's now pouring rain. I think that's, what, six logs? But I'm almost out of energy again. I'm going to sleep for a little bit just to get some energy. Oh, and I think it was Coco told me that you could use this as a hop bar, basically, and map it to keys one through four. You can just drag items down here. It's super useful. I've munched on a few berries. Not a ton. They don't really do much for me, but it prevented me from sleeping during that while it was still dark out, or still light out. Anyway, uh, we don't have the ability to make an anvil or anything, and I'm, I'm realizing I'm going to need some nails to make more wooden repair kits, which I definitely need. I don't need planks right now. I don't think. I know I do to repair some stuff, but we're going to go into town 
and check out the blacksmith and see if he has an anvil there. Get all Kraswold. And see... Yeah, just see what's up. All right, Kraswold, can we use your anvil? Or can we just talk with him? Are we gonna have to buy nails? I really don't want to. We don't really have a way of making money currently. Or there might be a way, I just don't know of it yet. Can we use this one back here? Is this a thing? Or is this just decoration? I think that's just decoration. Okay, so it does not look like he has one. That's unfortunate. That's okay though. While we're in town, let's see if there's anything to see. I don't know if... <laughs> we should just call this Green Day. That's, that's kind of fun. <laughs> not just because of the color, but yeah, you, you get the reference hopefully. All right, anything going on in here? Who are you? No one that I know? This door is locked until I have 30 friendship with Herodric. Okay. We haven't checked out any of this before, and I don't know if we can. I can't interact with these doors, so never mind. I was gonna do a little bit exploring. A little bit of exploring, but apparently I can't, so that's fine. Dead Horse Tavern. Okay, I don't know how to make nails. But we're gonna head back home and explore a little bit of our basement or cellar thing, I think. Ooh, and then tomorrow during the daytime, not right as it's about to roll over to the next day, but during the day, we should be able to go up here to Witch Hill. That should be open, I think. So we'll be checking that out as well. I don't have a clue what's up there, but I'm pretty sure the astrologer is up there. I know I said a couple episodes back that I thought he showed up at the lighthouse. I'm like 99% sure he doesn't show up at the lighthouse. Uh, I think I was making things up or confusing things, but all right, let's head down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Into the basement. And we can pick up these. These give us what, flitches? Yeah. And I don't know what's in here, but someone said I had a recipe that I should have grabbed. I don't know what it does. Use the recipe? Oh, that's easy. Baked mushrooms and baked apple. I don't have a fire, though, anywhere. I don't know. Okay, just to refresh, what do I need to get down here? Ten wood wedges, two planks, and simple iron parts which are crafted at a wooden anvil, an anvil, an anvil too. I feel like a wooden anvil is something that we would be able to make? Maybe? And I don't know if it'd be crafted from... Ah, you could change how many you make. Okay, that's cool. I guess starting by building out this stuff would be useful, but we don't have simple iron parts which we need to do most of this stuff i think a stone cutter again would be cool but nails and i don't know where a cooking table's at unless i have something here already that so that's our grindstone this is our sawhorse this is nothing place to go to the bathroom what can we do here Bucket of clear water. I don't think I need that for anything. Use this item to get water. That's probably to water crops or something, which again, we don't have any of. So yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now. Can we make, I don't think I checked. Can we make, I did check. What am I doing? I'm kind of, as much stuff as there is to do in this game, it's very open-ended. Like, I, I don't have direction currently. I know I've got all the NPCs that I can interact with, but the portal on which hill, that should be something we can do tomorrow. The wine, we can't access yet. Inquisitors, nothing about it. Snake, we still need to d talk to Miss Charm first, or Ms. Charm by demonstrating our worth. And to do that, we need to find uh, paper and ink 
for Wagner, the poet. And to find that, I believe that's in the church, which we need <laughs> five uh, decoration at the graveyard to get into, I think. And to do that, we need to be creating more repair kits, which I don't know how to do. And then by finding Snake, who we'll get to through uh, Ms. Charm, he'll give us the stamp that we can then use to start selling flesh to Herodric. <sighs> okay. I don't think that takes any time. No, it doesn't. Instead of just standing around not doing anything, let me just grab some resources at least while I'm confused. Okay, I feel kind of dumb right now. I totally forgot about the tech tree during that whole rant about not knowing what to do. You can craft nails, and we can craft simple iron parts using a wooden anvil, which we haven't purchased the blueprint to make yet. So now that we have that, it should be unlocked here. Wooden anvil, yes. <laughs> a wood billet is created at the sawhorse. We need two of them. Oh, I feel dumb, guys. Wood billet. This makes three. Can I make less? No. Okay. We'll make a wood billet. Ah, feels good. And this held what? That was... I had eight logs on there. So I don't know how much that can hold, but... That's definitely nice. Wooden anvil. Uh, we'll put that right there. I'm all about saving space. I'm sure I'll reposition all the stuff eventually, if that's even possible. Which I, I don't know if it is. I'm sure it is. I'm sure we can... I think there's a remove. Yeah, it's a remove. Not a... I don't know. I'm not going to mess with that. We don't have a need for that yet. But now that we have our wooden anvil... Now we need iron ingots. Okay, study not complete. Okay, so the iron ingots are made advanced smelting. That's a steel ingot. Wait, we can already make iron ingot forged in the shape of an ingot crafted at furnace. Again, <laughs> which we don't have yet. Uh, the furnace. We need more simple iron parts. So we might have to buy some of these before it because we can't make them yet. We need the furnace to make them basically. Um, or buy iron to make a, I don't know. I am overwhelmed at how much stuff there is to do and learn. I need to just spend some, some minutes, some solid time going through, uh, the tech tree and kind of figuring out exactly, whoa, something's happening. Ah, this is what happens when you show up during the day. Everything is ready, Monsignor. I don't know how to voice this guy. Good, were there any problems? Oh, no, 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 no. no, monsieur. Mis is that monsieur? I don't know. Except there was a strange fellow snooping around. Oh, no, no. oh there he is, halt. Do I, can I run? <laughs> Guys, calm down, I live here at the graveyard. <laughs> he calls us guys? Why, he's a cultist for certain, monsignor. I know the bishop. Yeah, let's we'll go with that. You know, the bishop is a good friend of mine. He appointed me as keeper of the local graveyard. Interesting. I don't know what to do for this guy. Interesting. But I believe you're a friend of his. Though it's not a terribly impressive feat, just pay him a compliment and he's your friend. But appointing someone to the graveyard is certainly outside of his area of responsibility. I'll have to visit him and remind him again of his limits of his authority. Would you join me at the witch burning ceremony? Uh, this seems like a guy you don't say no to. It would be my honor. So, how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Uh, well, dodge the question? I don't want to tell him about the real world. That's a no-no. Well, I just had it just happened. There's nothing special to say. You're definitely hiding something, and I'll find out what. Here I am, the great inquisitor. 
I protect the one true faith and humankind itself. This map goes up real far. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded, and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Your graveyard is opening again at a suspiciously auspicious time. That's a mouthful. The dark cult is rising. I can feel it. Righteous anger rises with it in my soul. We haven't revealed a witch for a long time, and now we're lighting up the second one this year. And it's only the beginning. What the heck? So they've got a lot of dead. Light the fire. Burn the witch. Yes, Monsignor. Oh, gosh. Long live the Great Inquisitor! Hurrah! 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 Jeez. So, you work with a lot of dead bodies, huh? Yes, I think it's part of my job. <laughs> if you live right beside this hill, near the graveyard, that's right. Yes. Interesting, interesting, you know. I need someone to be my friend here at the village. <laughs> I need friends, guys. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. Villagers, they're different from us town citizens. You can't trust them. But you're new here. You might notice something unusual. I, like I said, this seems like a guy not to say no to. Sure, it'll be a pleasure to be your friend. A wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. Holy crap. To earn my trust and to be a friend of the Inquisition, you, mu you will first have to show your goodwill. So, I have a couple of minor tasks for you. What kind of tasks? Everything in due time. Today is a day of wrath, not a day of sweating the minor details. We can talk next mail day, or any other mail day. I like to come here. There is no other place where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. Okay, well we found our mail day guy. Uh, the Inquisitor. You definitely wouldn't want to be his enemy. Yeah. Oh, so that's that's a new task. Meet him back here again. Wow. This is cool. Witch Hill. Okay, so it's kind of its own enclosed area. I like how the map is slowly revealing itself. Like, what is here? I don't know. Maybe we can go back south and explore a little bit. I think we'll do that and then call the episode. Oh, that's cool. It shows what day it is. That's neat. And what is this? Need a technology? Marble, maybe? And if we go this way, it's taking us to a burned down building. I'm going to guess a witch once lived there. We can harvest the flowers. No, thanks. Okay. This, this game is... It's got a lot to it. I was getting frustrated not knowing what to do, and that's all my own fault. I was being dumb. Has this revealed... Okay, it looks like we're headed down here, but we revealed a burned house. What is all this stuff? Oh, that's going to take some energy. Is this like a an old vineyard? Ah! Vine trellis. Yeah, pick a resource. We don't have any seeds or anything, but that's kind of cool. And it's right overlooking our farm or our our garden, I guess I should say. Ah, that's what was there, vineyard. Okay, I kind of want to check out what's over here too. A lot of this game is going to be just be just me figuring things out, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Just kind of learning the map and and learning the tech tree. Holy crap. I, I was oh, stumbling there for quite a while. But we got there. 
All right, is there anything else up here? Off to the right, maybe? I don't think I saw anything, but I also didn't look, so. Doesn't look like it. I feel like this is just gonna dead end, and it does. All right, let's head back to home sweet home and see if there's anything else we can tackle. All right, so if we take another look at what it takes to build the furnace, we need more simple iron parts. Call me crazy, but didn't we get iron parts by salvaging some of this stuff? I know we got flitch, but I could have sworn we got some iron parts from one of these. Even if we only get a couple or none, these are giving me nothing now. We got nails from that. Okay, so maybe it's possible. And then it looks like there's some scrap in that. I don't know if we'll get any from it, but when we clear it out, maybe we will, maybe we won't. And this is proving to be incredibly not useful. How do I get simple iron parts without making them? I know I can buy them from the blacksmith and I might just do that. Okay, I don't know what a lot of this stuff does. So for now, we'll stash our flesh, um, edible mushrooms, flowers, and other stuff that I just don't know what to do with yet. Flour, we'll get rid of. We'll keep the bucket of water, metal scrap, all that stuff on us. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and I know we have a chest outside. I know we have one here as well. I could put stuff in. I just don't have a need for that right now. And then another one at the foot of our bed. Is there any goodies in here? No. Okay, so we have a lot of different places to store stuff. Not in the wardrobe. Okay, how much... How much money do we have? One silver at 42 copper. If we could buy enough simple iron parts to make ourselves a furnace, I think we'll be sitting pretty. So we need three more simple iron parts. Oh, let's see if the blacksmith has them. Silly me, going to the blacksmiths in the middle of the night is not the best idea. What's up, Kresvold? All right, so he sells straight up iron ingots, which... Is that saying he has 20 of them? Or sorry, 10 of them? Or that we buy 10 for 80 copper? Oh, this is expensive. Oh. We wouldn't even have enough for these simple iron parts. Unless it really... Well, no, because one is valued at 44. There's no way you get 20. Okay, so the iron ingot doesn't do anything for us yet, I don't believe. Because... Okay, so these are made... Well, no. Yeah. So that's, that's our course of action. We buy one iron ingot. I think. Yeah. I, ho I hope that's the right thing to do. Okay, so now that we have the iron ingot, we should be able to make some more simple iron parts, which will be enough to make our own furnace so then we can make our own iron. Yes, I think that's, oh my gosh, that is large. Uh, there's no rotating this stuff, is there? Ah, there is. Oh, just the direction, not the... Well, uh, let's put it there. That looks nice. Okay, that is expensive, or at least for me, with nothing to my name. But now that we have this, we should be able to go out and mine. We don't even have energy. Just munch on some berries real quick. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So it needs fuel from sticks, firewood, or coal. And we can make... Ooh, we can make iron ingots out of metal scrap. That's kind of neat. But most likely, we can get it from iron ore, which I think we have the ability to mine. Yes, swamp iron. And if I'm not mistaken... This is a swamp directly above us. So we should hopefully be able to find swamp iron in said swamp. Is that some up there? And right over here? Maybe? Let's find out. Oh, it feels like it. 
digging has such a satisfying feeling in this game. Ah, iron ore. And I didn't see how much it takes to make a bar. So I might need more. It might be 10. I don't remember. No, it's just one. So we can make five bars, which takes 150 fuel. So we need 100 and fit. Oh, we don't even have enough to do that. Okay. So let's start. Let's not do all five. Let's just do, let's do three, which requires 90 fuel. So now we have the fuel up there. And I don't know if that depletes over time or what, but then we should be able to make three iron ingots. And then it just ticks away. All right, though, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I think we're going to end today's episode. We made some progress. Is it major progress? No. But is it progress nonetheless? Yes. We got log storage filled up. We've got a carpenter's workbench, a wooden anvil, a sawhorse, and a forge. And we now kind of know how to do stuff slightly and, you know, navigate this. I said I was going to go through this, I think, last time before today's episode, and I, I clearly didn't, but I'm going to spend some time with this pretty much as done as soon as I'm done recording and just kind of kind of get a game plan for what I want to get next from the tech tree. Anyway, though, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, as always, take care.